From Franco American, where sauce is king. A ding ding. Now the king brings you the newest from Franco American elbow macaroni with ground beef. Tender macaroni up to its elbows in a bright, sassy tomato sauce and beef in every bite for a hearty meal ready in four minutes. Try elbow macaroni with ground beef. From Franco American, where sauce is king. You doing the typing? Yes. Oh, I'll tell you about it when I get better. Okay. Oh, sit down. Unless you want to see Lisa. I I will later. I'd like to talk to you first. Okay. Well, how about some coffee? It's all ready. Sure. It sounds great. How have you been, Kit? Me? I'm fine. Where'd you get the typewriter? Oh, Jerry brought it over. He said I could borrow it. Handsome. Yes, it is. I think it was a, a Christmas present from him to himself. Something like that. Thank you. Here we are. Go ahead, Kim. Well, remember when we talked about my work? I mean, what I'd eventually decide on? Yes. Well, I finally made my decision. You have? What is it? Amy, even with the advantages that Dad's job offered, I, I just couldn't take it. I know I wouldn't be any good at it because I'm not interested in the electronics. And, oh, I just turned it down. With no regrets? No. Why? I just wanted to be sure. Do you understand? Yes, Kip, of course I do. I'm not surprised. Kip, I think all along you knew what the final answer would be. You kept trying to convince yourself how great your father's offer was, but inside you weren't sure. I think you even hoped Dr. Gordon would help you settle it. You knew? Yes, I think so. Well, Dr. Gordon didn't advise me really one way or the other. He made me see that I had to cut away all outside influences and get to the root of the problem by myself. And that is what you want to do with your life. Well, anyway, you know that business isn't for you. Have you... Have you any idea what it is you are interested in? Yes, Amy, I do. I know now that the right field for me is medicine. And who knows, in a couple of years, I might make a pretty good doctor. <gasps> pretty good? Oh, Kip, you'll make a sensational doctor. Oh, I'm so glad for you. You really are, aren't you? Yes, I am. Amy, I, I don't think I have to tell you that I'll be I'll be living on very little for while I'm in training. There, there won't be very much money coming in. So that's no tragedy. Kip, I may as well tell you this um, this typewriter is going to be very next door for a job in his uh, his law, just part time. That's how I've been practicing. Amy, I don't want you doing that. Why not? I have plenty of spare time, and I want to. Well, Besides, the extra money will come in handy. What about Lisa? She'll be fine. And. Uh, about her eye operation. Kip, I'm pretty sure Dad will want to take care of it. Just until you can pay him back. I'd insist on that. I know you would. Amy, there's one other thing. I hope you're not interpreting my acceptance of that. Don't worry, a... Kip, I'm not. I love you, Kip. And I want you back. But this doesn't have anything to do with it. There are no strings attached. Just admiration for you. And your decision. In any way I can cut down expenses, I will. I just don't want you to worry about it. Amy. Amy, I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just be happy you made the right choice. I am. Thank you. I appreciate that. Kip, don't let anyone 
or anything distract you. You've got a lot of work ahead, and it's not going to be easy. I know it isn't. Well, that's settled. Would you like to see Lisa? She should be getting up any minute. Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, come on. Well? Coming? Yeah. Yeah. Another minute, I think I'd have gone to the office. If you had, you'd have found me sending society items to the obituary desk. You know where my mind has been. Well, when I think of how you came home a couple of days ago, Peter, I'm so ashamed. Because I hurt you? No, I was wrong. I'll let you none of that. Let's settle this right away. What happened to us had to happen because of the strain between us. How can we ever forget such a thing? By admitting that most of what we said was true. Oh, no, Peter. You were right to feel the way you did about hurting Janet. How could I ever let her bring me to the point of doubting you? Let's put it all where it belongs. Behind us. You just remember this. I love you. I always will. Good night, you darling. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> huh? Did you really send society news to the obituary desk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter, no. <laughs> oh, now what on earth is that? Can a man have a minute alone with his wife? I bet you better get it. <laughs> I guess I better. All right. Just a minute. Oh, Amy, come on in. Let me take the carriage. Valerie's right there in the desk. Come on in. Valerie, I'm sorry to just drop in like this. We can only stay a minute, but I did want you to know the good news. You know, it's a conspiracy. I wanted you to see how Lisa smiles at me. Little rascal sound asleep. Don't worry, Grandpa. She won't be for long. Did I hear something about good news? You did. Down to tell us. Well, Kip came by today to tell me he'd made a definite decision about his career. It's to be medical school. Isn't that great? It sure is. If that is really what he wants. Oh, it is, Dad. Well, in many ways, I'm relieved. Of course, it, well, I mean, Arthur must be shattered by it. Yes, I'm sure. Sorry, Kip would never have been happy in that business. And he has a sense to know it. Anyway, I've got some plans to take the financial burden off Kip when he starts his free at work. What kind of plans, dear? Well, for one thing, there's no reason I can't hold down a part-time job. So I started getting these typing fingers back in shape again. For a job at a law office, maybe. Just to help out. Uh, can you manage that with Lisa? Oh, I'm sure I can, Dad. Then, too, I, uh, I want to get a smaller, cheaper apartment. And, well, I'll... I'll waive any alimony. If it comes to it. And our only, uh, our only major worry is, is Lisa's eye operation. That is no worry. We won't take care of that. Please, darling, you must let us. You're both wonderful. I, I was pretty sure you'd offer to, so I... Well, I told Kip I'd accept it. But he insisted only on the condition that he'd pay you back in full. Agreed? Amy, we're so proud of you. It's all Kip's doing. I'd say we had a pretty self-reliant young lady here, wouldn't you, Mrs. Ames? Indeed we do, Mr. Ames. A daughter to be proud of. Kip's the one you should be proud of. I knew his instincts would lead him the right way if he just followed them. And he did. And at no expense to anyone else. That's true. And Amy, what you said about a man following what his instincts demand 
to be really happy, that's even more true. I just wish all of us could nurture those instincts. Well, you're going to have to wait for that smile, Grandpa. Lisa and I haven't seen each other for a long time. Aspirin or Excedrin? Which should you take for relief of headache pain? They say with aspirin, you know, you take an aspirin and you sit down and then you relax and you put your feet up for a few minutes and you rest. Well, this is marvelous if you've got the time. I don't have it. I have got to get going quickly. And if I'm going to relax, I don't want to do it with an aspirin. Excedrin gives me the ability to get back to what I'm doing quickly, completely, without any fear of having a headache. New Excedrin, the extra strength pain reliever. Look, this is the formula for aspirin. But Excedrin has four medically endorsed ingredients. You get quick relief, long-lasting relief, a tension reliever to relax you, an antidepressant to restore your spirits. Tablet for tablet, Excedrin is 50% stronger than aspirin for relief of headache pain. There's no comparison. Excedrin is so far superior. Isn't it time you tried Excedrin? Something new's cooking at Pepperidge Farm. Two new frozen strudels. They taste home-baked, because you bake them yourself. New blueberry strudel. Light, flaky crust, full up with fresh blueberries. And new peach strudel. Burst in with ripe peaches. All told, that makes four Pepperidge Farm strudels. Apple, cherry, new peach, and blueberry. Frozen from Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm Frozen Strudels have brought you part one of The Secret Storm. Our story will continue in just a moment. Peter, home so early, I can spare the time away from your precious newspaper. I manage. What did you want to see us about, Janet? I thought you might be interested in my version of the latest installment on the perils of Janet. Oh? From your obviously calm faces, I gather word of the, of the madness hasn't reached you yet. Janet, will you get to the point? It has to do with Arthur's marvelous offer to Kip. It had everything. Opportunity, chance for advancement in, an, in a hurry, and an incredible starting salary. Well, only Kip would turn his back on something like that. Isn't that crazy? Well, it depends on what he had in mind, his reasons. Do you happen to know what they were? No, and I don't think he does either. Amy seems to think that she knew he knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, did she? Amy was here a while ago, Janice. She was very happy about Kip's decision. I'll bet she was just thrilled to have him confiding in her. The little martyr encouraging a budding medico on his penniless journey. What right does she have to an opinion? This is none of her business. I'm afraid I disagree. Kip has an obligation, both to Amy and to Lisa, to acknowledge his future career. Peter's quite right. Well, the United Front is at it again. It influenced Kip. He made his own decision. Without any help, she's waving alimony. Why, that two-faced little Janet, I thought she never you. gives up, does she? I'm surprised her halo doesn't slip down and choke her. Janet, that would be enough. Mother, I couldn't agree with you more. Janet. Thank you. 
I'm sorry, darling. Can't be helped. Things she said. Can't be helped. She lets her emotions run ahead of her. There's nothing we can do except never fight over any of this. Never. Are you afraid of soap? Are you afraid that constant washing with soap will dry your skin? You needn't be afraid. Today's Lux Beauty Soap has a special formula. Look, Lux lathers into lotion. Rich, moist, soothing lotion that softens your skin, ends dry skin worries. You need never be afraid to wash your face again. Why don't you try today's Lux, the beauty soap that lathers into lotion? This is new cold water all. The detergent discovery that gets your whole wash clean in cold water. To prove it, we're going to do this whole load of dirty wash in cold water pumped from this waterfall. Now the results. Look how spotless clean. What's more, clothes won't shrink. Colors won't fade as in hot water. So turn off the hot water and get new cold water all. Get your whole wash clean without hot water problems. Now I'll just tuck you in, and then it's time for you to go to sleep. Well, are you going to let me in? What do you want, Janet? Not to stand out here, that's for sure. All right, Janet. What can I do for you? You can climb down off your high horse, for one thing. I really came to see you out of pity. How generous of you. May I ask why the touching sentiment? Your inexcusable meddling. Amy, when are you going to give up and resign yourself to the minor league where you really belong? Oh, you mean if I became a pro like you, I'd be lost? Cut the sarcasm. You were never meant for it. I guess you're right. Maybe I am too honest. Amy, I can't tell you what contempt I have for you. I'm sure you'll try. You're an out-and-out -out fraud. What is all this about encouraging Kip and his little doctor's degree a hundred years from now? Oh, you mean you're not on his side? You don't want him to do what he's meant for? What he's meant for? You are really too much to be believed. I guess I must be, Janice. That's why you're so upset. That's the trouble, isn't it? You don't even recognize an honest gesture anymore. Well, I sure know a fake one. And how anybody could fall for your newfound martyrdom is beyond me. No money, just dedication and little jobs to make ends meet. Those little jobs pay the grocery bills. Oh, come off it, Amy. What could you ever do that would earn you a living? I can file, answer a phone. I'm not proud as long as it's honest work. But you don't know anything about that, do you? Never having done it. Oh, I can't bear this. Fine, Janet, then why don't you leave? Not just yet. Not until I get the rest of this fairy tale. What are you planning to do about little Lisa? I mean, assuming anybody would give you a job to begin with. There you see. Well, I believe with practice, you could be interested in someone besides yourself. But I'll tell you so you don't worry. I'm going to continue taking very good care of Lisa and working only around her needs. Oh, how touching. It's no good, Annie. You've lost Kip forever, and all this Technicolor production is not going to get him back because you don't have what it takes. Just what does it take, Janet? Because the last couple of times I've seen Kip, he's looked anything but deliriously happy. And there you have it. When he sees you, and that's why he left you. But with me, he's more than content. I believe it's called a lover's dream. Well, I know a little about dreams and a lot about Kip. And I know when he wakes up from your dream, he's going to start looking for the truth again. And he's certainly not going to find it with you. Amy, you don't know anything about Kip. You've lost him, and you might as well face it. You're just desperate because you know he's never coming back to you. Mm -hmm. Face, you bet your life will see. It's interesting, though, that you come here to our home and use the word desperate. No one takes a man away from me. No one. Kip is mine, and I'll keep him as long as I want him. And all your pathetic attempts to get him back are useless. You hear me? Useless. Don't you 
Too mad. Get it through your head. You have lost him. Lost him! Get out of here, Janet. You make me sick. I said get out! I'm going. I can't stand you or this place another second. Darling, I'm coming. Everything's fine now. Just fine. Peanut butter and raisins? Sure. That's just one idea for deliciously different peanut butter sandwiches. Sandwiches your children will love at lunch. All you do is make a peanut butter sandwich as usual... Then add raisins and grated carrots. What a difference they make. Idea two is a peanut butter sandwich with bacon. And here's another delightful idea. Peanut butter with orange marmalade and apple slices. Whichever sandwich you make, be sure to pack Fritos corn chips along with it. Fritos have a roasted ground corn flavor that's Fritos own alone. A satisfying munchy munchiness no other chip quite has. Fritos are made to munch by the bunch. So keep a supply of Fritos six-packs handy. Pack them in school lunches often. Fritos corn chips, a flavor favorite from Frito-Lay. Yes, I want the best room you have with a balcony overlooking the plaza. Now, I didn't ask about price, did I? All right, just have everything ready. Fine, goodbye. What? Oh, yes. Adios. Well, right on cue, Kip. You heard my call to Mexico City. Yes. I'm almost ready to go. So I gather. You gather? Seems to me I'm the only one who's doing something constructive lately. Really? Well, I think you could do more than just talk about going to Mexico. Jan, you know perfectly well I can't go now. I have a job and class. Or have you forgotten? Oh, yes. And you mustn't forget a wife on the shelf. A wife who's willing to waive alimony so you can be happy in your work. What are you getting at now? Only that I think you've misplaced that manly pride of yours somewhere. You'd never think of accepting my money, let alone Arthur's. But Amy, now, that's another subject altogether. Let her make sacrifices. You don't care a bit. In fact, you encourage it. Are you crazy? Did I say something wrong? No more than usual. I mean, all the ingredients are there. What ingredients? I should think you'd know by now. The ones that keep you from making any kind of real decision. What do you think I was just doing on the phone to Mexico? You tell me, Jan. What were you doing? I was making reservations to go and get my divorce. In short, I am making those blessed plans you keep talking about. And you're doing it out of love for me, aren't you? Yes. And not because you want to show people, especially your mother, that you really mean what you say? Kip, I don't know what to say to you. Well, Jan, for once lately, we're in total agreement. Because I don't know what to say to you either. This takes the place of canned dog food? Yep. A moist, beefy dinner in a packet. Open it. It's brand new. So far, so good, but... But will he like it? Here, boy, try this. That's wonderful. That's prime. Easy, beefy prime. In place of a can, just feed one packet of Gaines Prime. Let me try it again. It sure is easy. And look, it's moist and tender. What did you say the name was? Prime. They both love it. Naturally, it has beef in it and lots of other good things. But look, no refrigeration ever. This is silly, but what is the name again? Prime. Easy, beefy prime. Easy for you, beefy for them. Prime takes the place of the finest canned dog food, yet it costs no more. You from General Foods. Prime. This is 
is The Secret Storm. Part two of The Secret Storm has been brought to you by New Cold Water All Laundry Detergent. Storm Monday and every day, Monday through Friday, brought to you from New York.